What is going on to you Aquarius out there? Um, please make sure to like that, uh, smash that like button. There's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel. So I can most definitely keep the show going. And remember when I told y'all that I was getting the, the Jordan Lowe's? I got one. I got one. I got a pair. But I'm just wearing it just to kind of for the irony of it. But anyway, for you, Aquarius, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and you have the Eight of Cups. So for you, um, Aquarius, a lot of you right now are in a situation, okay, where for you, Aquarius, um, very much so, a lot of you are learning that, you know, relationships can very much so be a trap. And then a lot of times it's really about people trying to get you to make a promise to them while they figure out corny and, and downright, well, I should say, let's, let's reverse that slick and downright corny ways to figure out how they can't hold up their end of their, their end of the bargain while you, while trying to oblige you to, to hold up your end of the bargain. And a lot of you Aquarius are realizing that that's, like I said, it's, it's lame. The eight of cups, you will walk away in a second. No bones about it. You, Aquarius, will walk away in a second. All of that, trying to split hairs and technicalities like a lawyer. <laughs> you know what I mean? To frame the truth, spin the truth, uh, create a narrative. That's that's a whole dub, especially not someone that you're supposed to be you know, in a relationship with, a love interest with. How lame is that? And a lot of, like I said, a lot of you Aquarius are seeing that. And this is exactly what it is that you Aquarius don't want to have anything to do about. Because you Aquarius see how lame that is. The, the idea that somebody can work so hard to spin a narrative and, and run game and do this. But they don't put in half as much effort <laughs> into making themselves better. So that they can actually be in a relationship and actually be in a healthy relationship, stupid, right? It's stupid on their part. So now the thing is that the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups for you, Aquarius, is about how it is that, again, you know this. You know this to be true. So a lot of you, Aquarius, do not see this type of scenario, you ever being with somebody who would try to run, who dares to try to run that type of game on you. Because I'm seeing that you, Aquarius, will tell them to F off. You will, you know what I mean? You will tell them to F off. Like, look, you got to get out of here. You got to kick rocks. And the King of Swords also is about how a lot of you, Aquarius, are like, this is the reason why you're so cold-hearted. It's because you will help people and you will get messed over. And while, you know, people want you to remain how you are, but it's like you're not getting anything from it. It seems like it seems like sometimes people are only telling you that they want you to be cool like this so that they can they can have an an, an a full time lifetime access pass to you like six flags and all of that, like the amusement park, Disneyland and all of that so that they can come in and do whatever it is that they want to do with you, get whatever they want to get out of you and then bounce. But the thing about it is that the Ace of Cups represents no, you know, you're not putting up with that. You have heart. You know, you're the opposite zodiac sign of the zodiac sign that represents heart, which is Leo. You have heart. And the thing is, is that when you are out here and you you have heart in you, you know, you're, you're trying to legitimately get to know people and, and, and find a special person and, and look out for them. Right. You would you would. It's automatic that you would want them to look out for you, too. Why else would they decide that they want to be with you? and hang out with you in that way if they're not actually planning on hanging out with you where they're looking out for you, right? Like there's no point in that. So now the fool and the five of cups represents how the fool is you, uh, Aquarius, where, but it, but it's okay because you are not showing up with two brand new people with a heavy heart. And the thing about it is that the five of cups is about how <clears throat> you can admit where it is that you wrong. You can admit your faults, your follies, what it is that you need to change about yourself. And then the situation for you, Aquarius, right? The situation for you, Aquarius, is that for you, um, you, Aquarius, very much so are going to uh, 
live your life the way that you want to. The Five of Cups represents you're not down with this. You're not down with, you know, living your life full of regrets. You're getting old no matter how, not old, but you know, whatever. You're getting older no matter how old you get people. You know, you're still, you're still living in the past because that's when, that's one thing that I don't like about Saturn, right? You know, even though I love the planet Saturn, Saturn is actually one of my favorite planets because Saturn represents patience and taking your time and things that you should have had actually being bestowed onto you and nobody can do anything about it. And if they try, they got a butt whipping in it for them because everybody got a chance to eat their cake. Now it's time for you to eat yours no one can mess that moment of if they do they got a serious debt that they have to pay right so i love saturn in that regard but one thing that i do not like about saturn you aquarius being ruled by them is the idea that with a, with uh saturn saturn will have you living in the past saturn will have you reminiscing and going down memory lane perhaps a little bit too much so a lot of you aquarius realize that you know you're not going to spend so much time regretting your past and all of that. The Ace of uh, the Ace of Pentacles, however, <coughs> excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles, however, represents you, Aquarius, will decide to actually show up, be the best that you possibly can be, and make sure that the next time, you know, you're learning your lessons, and that whenever it is that you find yourself being in a situation with somebody else, you, Aquarius, are not going to hold back. Because a lot of the times, that's a lot of the times, that's the next thing that unfortunately people end up doing. Once it is that they get to a certain age, they get to a certain point where they decide that they don't necessarily want to actually give back. Their heart is not unfortunately really in it. They get scared to a point where they don't want to live their life. They don't want to, they, you know what I mean? They don't want to live their life. They don't want to actually um, accomplish anything. And because of that fact, they end up, they end up, you know, they end up really uh, like getting things, they end up getting things much more horribly because of it. And the thing about it is that that's not how it is that you Aquarius are choosing to live your life. The way that you Aquarius choose to live is you have a lot of experiences up underneath your belt. You've learned a couple of things, not saying that you're the smartest person in the world, but you're not the dumbest person in the world either. And you Aquarius are going to go ahead and show up and then try to get to know other people and, it, you know, put try to put your best foot forward. And if they don't put their best foot forward, then it is what it is. The Eight of Swords, however, represents, you know, you're, you're definitely not going to deal with the persecution. You won't allow yourself to. You know, it's, it's one thing if a person has a critique about you and it turns out to be fair. That's one thing. But it's another thing for you. You know, for you, Aquarius, to be now in a situation where you sitting up over there thinking about the nonsense that, you know, uh, somebody done went ahead and told you because they said something that's real slick, real disrespectful, or they're trying to blame you for for all their downfalls in life. You know, you know, they're you know, they're in their 20s, 30s, 40s, however old they are. And it's like they blaming you for some stuff that happened to them when they were seven. It's like, <laughs> what are they doing, yo? And the thing about it is that the Six of Wands is all about how, um, and you know, it you really can take it or leave it. You really are a devil may care's perspective because it's like for you, it's like you don't you don't you Aquarius do not have to be laid up with anybody to feel good about yourselves. If the person, like I said before, if the person really doesn't have any level of common sense. then that's their fault ultimately because at the end of the, at the end of the day you know really that's how it is that that's how it is that grown ups really look at it that's how it is that people who really been through some things look at it that's i know that's how i look at it you know because even when it comes to like you know talking to some people some, like i said a lot of you know sometimes people be thinking that they have i don't know like pure delusion. I, I don't live in a delusional world, even though I, I understand it, right? I, I understand it enough to be able to, to give you a view into people's minds and stuff like this. 
that kind of delusion is too deep for me. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Because they be thinking that you up underneath some sort of spell. Like, you know, you try to hang out, you try to talk to them and stuff like this. Like, countless times, right? Countless times. Even when I eat, like, even when it comes to doing this, doing tarot. You know how many times people will say that they getting paid here, they getting paid here. They 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 want a reading. Like, they'll, <laughs> they'll like, contact me and stuff like this through email or Instagram or however they reach out, right? respectfully and like they'll set something up and then like they completely flake and, and this is why it is i don't i don't take that type of stuff too seriously when they talk about that i just look at it like oh, okay that's enough that's somebody that just wanted a 15 minutes of attention because if i if i could go in if i could really apply pressure right now aquarius this is what I'm talking about, because the, the way that dysfunctional people move, when you move from a perspective of being just respectful, you're not jumping down their throat, they try to spin it like you being disrespectful, like you're being combative, when it's like, There's not a whole lot of room for them. There's not a, really a whole lot of room for them to actually say that, truth be told, because what are you, Because and that's what it is I'm trying to get you Aquarius to understand, right? Y'all are justified to think like this because how are you supposed to deal with somebody who they don't, they don't like, like whatever it is that you're talking to somebody, they don't like, hey, let's like, they don't like appointments. And, and I've had to deal with that so many times in my life, whether it's doing this tarot thing, whether it's dating, how many of these individuals and stuff like this will set up an appointment and like they'll think that this is a date. So what they'll do is that they'll flake. And, I, and I'm just like, yo, like, what do they think this is, bro? Like, do they think that this is a date? This is an appointment. I'm trying to get some dollars. I'm trying to build my business. I'm trying to scale my business. Like what kind of a, like what, like where are these people mentally where it's like they looking at it like a date? I didn't even say that it was a date. There was no conversation that it was a date for, for a lot of them. And the ones that was a date, it would be clear that it was a date. They will go ahead and they still flake. So now when I, so now when I'm Sididi, right? When I, now that I am, nonchalant and i'm just like okay whatever i don't even really care i'm not even going to talk to the person the per how is the person going to get mad at the fact that i've been around the block a couple of times and now i know when somebody is pulling my chain and they're just wasting my time trying to say certain things to do or maybe they and then they flake in and stuff like this it's like what do they actually expect they getting mad at you that you adapt into the situation learning what time it is and you just not even wasting your energy to even be upset to call them the rail or whatnot. It's like, it's like, yo, like, even when it comes to doing this tarot reading, it's like, yo, contact me when you are ready, yo. I'm not going to be hounding you down. And it's the same thing for you, Aquarius. You, Aquarius, are the same way. Like, y'all have been doing a lot of the, 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 the research. Y'all have been doing a lot of the footwork, a lot of the exper experiential work. You've actually experienced in this stuff where it's like, again, people talk and they talk a lot. They don't actually, sometimes one of the things that separates, you know what I'm saying? The grownups from like the little, the, the people who are not meant to be taken seriously, basically, and the people who are real are people where it's they 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 say what it is that they're gonna say, they say what it is that they gotta say, and then they actually follow through. There's a high success rate of them following through. So even when it comes to relationships, a person who a person who's a real one doesn't have to tell you that they love you in order for you in order to get the draws or to get this or to get your body or whatnot or whatever the case may be. It's like they find it hard to just actually be consistent. And this is <laughs> This is the level of like, this is, this is the, this is the stuff that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got to go through, like, it, you know what I'm saying? You, so, so you develop, 
a devil may care mentality. It's like, it's like, look, like if the person comes through for a reading, great. I would be happy to chop it up to them, chop it up with them. No harm, no foul. But if the person doesn't come through, oh, and like, what do they expect? You know, when I don't take that type of stuff seriously, what do they expect? This is why it is I like to get my money up front first. Go ahead and pay me some money and then I'll hold that'll hold that will place your spot and, and basically place your uh, excuse me, place my availability to you because you pay me the money now. So now it's not a waste of my time. You just want me to get attention to give attention to you like a desperate parasite looking for me to give you attention and all this other crap to get your little two seconds of fame or whatever, whatever it is. Now, if you wasting my time, I get to go ahead and keep the money, at least with this now. Now, it makes you a little bit more serious because you actually put skin in the game now. Same thing with you, Aquarius. So let's clarify the six of wands. Hierophant, the justice, the Knight of Swords, the Empress, and then you have the Six of Wands, right? To clarify, this the uh, the Six of Wands, right? Which is about the devil may care mentality. Yes, because the Hierophant and the Justice represents this is something that you are supposed to. Any any of you Aquarius who've been learning from your mistakes, you're supposed to be like this, because you're living in. Like I said, I've been saying it. You're living in a world where you you got to be you have to be like the fool. You have to be adaptable. You have to you have to understand that people can say whatever it is that they want to. People are not consistent. They're they're fickle. They're fake. They like to talk too much. They play games. So you have to learn to let go of certain things and to not let certain things and people really get on your nerves. If they want to play their games, let them be an idiot. Let them be a cocotazo which is a slap in the back of the head, an idiot. Let them be an idiot and, and let them just do what they're going to do. You know, that's because that's where I am with it. I'm not into like the games. And no matter how many times I say this, I still have people who still think that if they play a game with me, I don't know where it's coming from. This goes to show you how delusional some people are. You telling them where you are and they still not listening to you. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. It could be the richest person in the world. It could be the most beautiful person in the world. I'm not playing a game. <laughs> you playing by yourself. You look stupid by yourself. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, because you have because when you decide Aquarius not to play the game with them and you just don't make a move and and allow, and allow them to just spiral out of control on their own and just take a step back you know what i mean the knight of swords now represents you you get a chance to see who's real and who's not more on that later we're gonna if that comes up we're gonna dive deeper into that notion as to how they spiral out of control because it, it, it's crazy when you when you Aquarius take a step back because you're not playing the game. See, if, see, your advantage comes from not playing. <laughs> your advantage comes from not playing at all. But when you don't play and you're like, hey, you want to go get something to eat? And they're like, yeah, let's go tomorrow. And then they don't show up. You go. Right. <laughs> right. And you move on with the rest of your life. No harm, no foul. You're not even upset at the person. You're just like, um, this person's credibility is just kind of kind of downgraded a little bit, kind of washed. They, 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 I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm seeing who they are. You know what I mean? I can't really take them too seriously like that. Now it's like, what do you think they doing? They spiraling out of control is what I'm telling you because... How they gonna contact you now? Now they they, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like, cause they expected you to reach out. Hey, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> you okay? Like, then the then the Empress now and the Six of Wands. 
All right? The Empress. And then the Six of Wands is all about how it is that you're in a situation where, uh, where for you, um, you, of course, do not have to stoop to the level of other people. You, do, you don't. All it is that you, Aquarius, need to do is just relax, allow other people to show you who they truly are, and do your thing. You know, at the end of the at the end of the day, this is what I mean when I say, don't react. Do your endeavor best to to not react. Sometimes you're gonna react. That's just being a person. Sometimes you're gonna react. Sometimes you're gonna get upset. But do your endeavor best not to react and just interact. Don't react. You know, don't. Let someone else put the battery in your back. You just look at the scenario, be normal, be who you normally are, and watch people glitch out like they are, like they are piece, uh, 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 what is it? An NPC robot, you know what I mean? Just let them glitch out, let them spiral out of control. You know, be as consistent, but versatile as you possibly can. You Aquarius will be all right. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all.